ये सारी गोपियां मेरी है थैंक यू नमस्कार सलाम सत श्रीकाल केम छो जय श्री कृष्ण बदा गुजराती भाई मजा में छे इट्स लवली टू बी हियर टू नाइट स्पेशली बिकॉज इट्स सो इंस्पायरिंग व्हाट हैपन लास्ट ईयर द सेम सेट ऑफ पीपल एंड मेनी न्यू फेसेस दिस ईयर कमिंग फॉरवर्ड टू टेक व्हाट वी स्टार्टेड इन अ होल न्यू डायरेक्शन इन सच अ लार्ज वे फॉर मी इट्स बीन अ वेरी पर्सनल जर्नी आई हैव आई हैव बीन इन्वॉल्वड फॉर क्वाइट अ वाइल टेकिंग एग्जांपल फ्रॉम माय पेरेंट्स who've been working for society my father has been working with slum children for education in bombay for over 20 years my mother works as a counselor for children who are suffering from cancer old people who are suffering from cancer for the last 20 years so spiritually even even though career wise my father is my hero my idol spiritually my mother's been my hero um when i became an actor and i did company which did very well and by god's grace i started you know how it gets you start to earn money and you start doing well and like every other mama's boy which i'm proud to be i went up to my mama and i said uh, i want to do something for you i want to buy you a car solitaires maybe a uh, cruise somewhere and she said beta for me the greatest gift would be if you wipe a tear if you bring someone to smile that would be the greatest gift so i started in her name yashodhara obroy foundation we did a lot of work during the tsunami we did some work with children who were suffering from cancer with the cpwa we kept doing a lot of work with you know people suffering from tuberculosis in india but when i struck upon food for life vrindavan when i met ragunath bhaiya life took a completely new turn i mean nothing could prepare me for that i i've traveled around the world i've worked with so many charities but nothing absolutely could prepare me for the heart of this man and what he's done there what i saw was so important where so many of these illustrious organizations all over the world uh for every dollar that you donate write off 60 70% of that money as administrative expenses they never really go to the cause you know just barely 20 30% filters down for the children that we actually donate to but this organization puts 95% of every penny that comes their way directly to the cause hats off it's also completely transparent when i said listen if i'm getting associated with something i want to know all about it he opened his books this is the income this is the outflow for all to see whoever wants to I mean, he's that cleaner man and then the most important thing is for people who wanted to get involved in sponsoring children what i loved was there was a direct connection there was a personal touch these kids were in touch with their sponsors with people who could you know write to them talk to them telephonically wish them on birthdays and he took it one step further where he tried to build bridges where people who made their way to delhi would drive to us to vrindavan and actually physically meet these children and the joy that these children gave them the way they bonded those families that came just like mine went during my birthday celebration is just amazing it's indescribable I mean it's the greatest high i've ever experienced. It was the best birthday i ever celebrated this year when i went there. When i went there i was thinking all the things i want to do. When i got there i was just lost i was just overwhelmed. There was so much love. You know i kept reading in a lot of the literature that these children are the poorest of the poor. They have nothing. Um i read a few accounts, i met a few of the kids. They were princesses. Princesses of plastic castles. you know after they went studied they finished their day at school they'd go back to their little mud huts with walls that would barely stand and live under little tarpaulin roofs little plastic sheets as their roofs and it was amazing the zeal the zest with which they would come back the very next day to school to study to be something to use this opportunity 
and I'd ask them, Beta, what do you want to be when you grow up? And nine out of 10 would say, I want to be a doctor, and I want to treat all the poor people who can't afford medical help for free. Someone would say, I want to be a teacher. I'm going to go out there and teach kids for free so that they get an education. It was so beautiful to see how noble their hearts were and how, how much strength they had. And I kept wondering, you know, they say they have nothing. How come it is that they give me everything? It was just the most fulfilling experience of my life. <laughs> I decided to come here, despite the trouble, despite the travel, and the possibility that that clock continually threatens that I might miss my flight, because I wanted to reach out to all you wonderful people, firstly, in gratitude, saying thank you. Thank you for being involved. Thank you for making a difference. And if you ever get a chance to go to Vrindavan, you'll see what amazing angels up there are giving you blessings. It's just so beautiful. But we need to do more, a lot more. And that's when the Gujarati community comes in. You know, see, I love Gujarati people. I love Gujarati food. I love Dhokla, Khandvi, Thepla, Chundo. Chundo is my favorite. I just love Chundo. So if any one of you think of inviting me, you know, I'm available. I'll miss my flight for Chundo. Um, and my mom, my mom is just fantastic. She was just on the phone with me telling me, how's it going? How's everything? I'm like, yeah, I'm really rushed for time. Mom, I'm going to call you back when I'm on my way to the airport. And she was like, listen, while you're there, if you see some nice Gujarati girls, I was like, mom, no. You know, <laughs> I'm really short on time. But anyways, what I also love is that, you know, these are the people that are the best businessmen in the world. Which is why I have a proposition tonight for all you people. Give with all your heart. Because Krishna says, whoever gives in Vrindavan, will get back a thousandfold. I don't say that, it's written in the scriptures. It is his land. You take care of their problems, he'll take care of your problems. It's a great proposition. At a pound a day, just one pound a day, you can sponsor a child. You can give them a life, you can give them an education, you can give them self-belief, confidence, and most of all, you can give a child a childhood. At a pound a day, at a pound a day, you can buy redemption, you can buy moksha, you can buy liberation. At a pound a day, it's the best deal ever. It's the best investment ever. So give with your hearts. I know you guys have very big pockets, so I'm not gonna ask you to give from your pockets, I'm gonna ask you from, to give from your hearts, because I know your hearts are bigger than your pockets. We're gonna get back to that later, don't worry. Um, I have to get in my way. All right, thank you very much. Some of you, please pray that I make my flight back.